Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. So tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so I've decided to make this little Santa hat for you with a little bit of hair simulation. If you enjoyed this video, please leave that like, it really helps my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe and additionally the bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. It'll be a really nice Christmas present for me. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender, and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. Let's jump right into empty blender file now and I'll just go ahead and delete the default cube and I'll leave the light and the camera in place. And let's press Shift A and let's add a circle and this is two meter wide so it'll be quite large head but i will leave it like that for now and let's just tab in and with the circle selected let's press e then z to extrude it up like that and now we can just curl this inside a little bit so press e once again and the right mouse button to release and additionally s to scale so the loop was created in place we just need to scale it down and let's do the same for the bottom loop so alt click the bottom loop press e then release with the right mouse button and press s to scale it down just like that and additionally i will need some new loop here in the middle so press ctrl r and click here right click to release it in place tab out and let's press ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier so this will be a base for our head and now I want to select the top loop and separate it from this object so we can extend the head. So tab in, alt click this top loop and let's press shift D, right click to release, press P for separate and confirm with enter. Now tab out and select the new object. You can see it here in the outliner that we have a new circle object created here. Let's tab into that one, press A to select all and press G then Z to move it a tiny bit down and press S to scale it up just a notch. Now let's hit three on an unpad for a side view and let's press E to extrude it up a little bit like this and now hold control and right click here to extrude it in this way and let's press S to scale it down like that. And we can continue with control right click to extrude the full head shape like this. Okay, and now I want to go into the edit mode Hold Shift S to snap the cursor to select it and just add a round cube here. So, so Shift A, Mesh and round cube. If you don't see that option there, go into the Preferences add-on and activate Extra Objects add-on. And now let's edit these presets here and choose Quad Sphere and reduce to something like 4. That should be fine. We can always use Subdivision Modifier later. Tab in, make it a little bit smaller and this should be our head. Now we can refine this shape right there, so select the head shape and right click shade smooth. Now go into the edit mode and we'll add some more loops here by pressing Control R and now let's just move it around and I want to add one new loop here, scale it down and move it around a little bit and this will serve as a little bit of a wrinkle here so we can continue this way down here, maybe make it a little bit larger there Alt click this loop, press Ctrl B to bevel it. So we have some more geometry there to work with. Okay, and I really like the result. So right now just right click, shade this smooth and do the same here. And now let's create that fur. So select this bottom object and let's go into the particle settings, create a new particle and let's choose hair. Um, first of all, if you see something like this, we'll need to recalculate the normals. So tab in press A to select all and press shift N to recalculate normals. Now if you tab out, you should see something like this. And now just reduce the hair length to something like 0.3 or something. That should be enough. And now I like to see this in rendered view. So I actually see what output the hair are creating. So let's go into the render settings. First of all, I will enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflection in EV for better previews. But actually I want to switch to cycles, switch to GPU and enable denoising for viewport and for render. And now if I go into the render view, I can actually see how this will look. Um, this looks nothing like a fur so far, so let's go back to the particle settings and I want to go to children and activate simple children. 
So this is more like it and you can see there are two values here. One is display amount and one is render amount. So the thing we see in previews is the first number and the thing that actually got rendered will be the second number. So let's change this to something like 50 so we have a better estimate of how this will actually look like. And now you can set all kinds of settings here um, with the hair, like clumping, for example, if you want them to clump together a little bit more, or you can twist them, um, create roughness maybe. And actually we can add some random roughness here so it doesn't look so uniform, but remember um, you probably need to reduce the length of the hair. So let's go here and reduce the length a tiny bit like that. I quite like this so far, um, but we'll need to edit the material. So let's go to the materials tab. And first of all, let's create some default material for the underlying object. And let's create a new material slot, create a new material. And let's call this one hair or fur, whatever you prefer. And now let's switch this from principal to principal hair PSDF. And let's change the color to white. So actually we can just reduce the saturation and increase the value. And now if we go to the particle settings, we can locate the render section and in the material choose the hair material from the slot and you can see how this looks a little bit better, a little bit more realistic. And now we can select um, this round cube and create a new particle slot and create the first particle settings from the list and add same materials. So first of all, let's add this empty material as a base material and let's create a new material slot and let's choose hair and you will see it gets applied automatically. Now we can select the hat itself, create a new material there and let's give it some nice red color and I'd like to increase the roughness for that as well. And yeah, there you have it. Um, nice little hat with some fur. Of course, additionally, you can go ahead and change the shape of the hat. So maybe scale this up a little bit so that it better matches the fur. So right now I will just select everything and parent it um, to the bottom object with control P and move it a little bit up like this and let's create a background. So shift S cursor to world origin. Let's press shift A and let's add a plane tab in scale it up. So we have some background and let's look from the camera. Now I will select the camera, move it a little bit up and let's change the resolution to something like 1600 to 1200 and actually scale this up and let's give the background some color something like this for example and let's press shift a and let's add area light press g then z move it up and i want to create a nice soft light shining from the top so let's try something like 500 and this looks fine, I think. So I will play with this probably a little bit more so we have a nicer thumbnail. Um, but here you can see how quickly and easily you can create a hat like this and add some nice looking fur with few particle settings. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave that like. It will really help me. And again, if you're new, please hit that subscribe. It will make my day. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day and I wish you a Merry Christmas.